Assalamu alaikum. I am lecturer Imam Khan and you are watching Learning Kernel Online. Today uh, from grade 9 our uh, unit name is Line Bisector and Angle Bisector. Today uh, we are uh, going to discuss about Right Bisector. In our previous theorem we discuss Line Bisector. Line Bisector and Angle Bisector are same thing. Our statement is that one. The right bisector of the sides of a triangle are concurrent. What is concurrent? When three or more lines, when three or more lines passes through the same point, then we say that these three lines or more lines are called what? Concurrent lines. And from which point that these three lines passes, that point is called point of concurrency. First, in the light of the statement, we will draw figure. What type of figure we will draw? We will draw triangle because in this statement the we discuss about triangle. Our third element is what given. In this statement the given is what figure. That figure is what a triangle. A triangle ABC. And our fourth element of a theorem is what to prove. We need to prove that the right bisector of AB, BC and AC are what? Concurrent. Now, our fourth element of a theorem is what? Construction. In construction, we will draw some lines, some angles, etc. In construction, draw the right bisector of AB and BC. Now, the right bisector of AB is what? This one, which is let's say, we say D point, E point, and we will draw, and we will join O to A, O to B, and O to C. Now, our sixth element, which is last one, which is so important, that is proof. In proof, we discuss two things, statements and reasons. Now, as we know that this O is on the bisector of AB, it means that OA is congruent to what? OB. The reason is what? In our previous theorem, we learned that any point on the right bisector of a line segment is equal distance from its end point. Now, similarly, when OA is congruent to OB, it means that OB is congruent to what? OC. The reason of this statement is what? As in 1. No need to write the full statement. We will write just as in 1. Now, when OA is congruent to OB and OC is congruent to OB, it means that OA is congruent to OC. The reason is what? From 1 and 2. Because OA is congruent to OB and OC is congruent to OB. It means that OA is congruent to OC. Now, when OA is congruent to OC, it means that O is O is equal distance from A and B. It means that when O is congruent to OC, it means that OA O is on the right bisector of AC. When we draw the right bisector of AC, then it means that OA, O is lies on that bisector. Already we know that O is on the right bisector of AB and BC. From construction, we know that 
O is also on the right bisector of BC and AB. It means that all the bisector of the triangle which are AB, BC and AC passes through the same point that is what O. So AB, BC and AC are what are concurrent at point what O.